Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial and today we'll be continuing our motion design series with animated lines. This is a really useful skill to, to use in your intros, motion design projects or anything that After Effects are related and I know that I use it almost every day. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a really easy thing to learn, so all we have to do is select the pen tool and make sure the stroke is around 20 you can adjust it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click anywhere on the screen and then click anywhere else on the screen and click shift so you can see there's like a line there and that line is um the, the thickness of it is dependent on the stroke width let's keep that at 20. Now, to animate this line, we're going to use a property called trim, trim lines, I think, trim paths, that's right. So we're going to twirl down the shape layer 1, click add, trim paths. Now basically trim paths is what this tutorial is about, it's really easy. We get, uh, in the trim paths animator, we get two, three properties, start, end, and offset. Now, for this tutorial, don't worry about the offset. We're just going to be worrying about the start and the end. So, set a keyframe for start and make the end zero. So, you can see right there, it changes depending on the value. So, keep that at zero, both of them at zero. And move a little bit forward and then set the keyframe for end move a little bit forward set the keyframe for start to 100 and move just a little bit more forward and set the keyframe for end to 100 so if we take a look at this now you can see it's a line growing and then shrinking very simple now it looks really ugly at the moment so we can make this look a bit better select all of them click right click keyframe assistant easy ease or we could just click F9 and we could go into the graph editor, grab the two. And drag the two later ones and drag that to the left. That way, if you haven't seen my tutorial on the graph editor, it'll be really fast to start and then slowly slow down as shown by the graph editor. Now we can watch it and you can see it's much more smoother. Another way we can do this is by selecting the two prior ones and move it to the right all the way. Oops. Sorry, just undo everything. So we're back here. Select these two, move it to the right until you can't go any further, and select these two, and move it to the left until you can't go any further. This is a really dramatic look, just like that. You can play around with these settings. Now we can also, on the search, search up cap, and we can change the bot cap to a round cap. What that does, it makes the end like round. And this looks good in some instances. However, there is one little downside to this. It's like when you play it, it just d disappears randomly. Like it doesn't it doesn't scale to the very end. If you're not if you know what I mean. So to fix this problem what we can do, click U and go into your shape, stroke and click the stopwatch for the stroke width. We're going to animate that. Select the layer, click U, and move the stroke width keyframe to the center. And at the start and the end, we'll set the value to zero. That way, it'll get smaller and bigger. Just like that. 
doesn't know if we watch that. It looks really smooth and quite nice. Now this can be placed wherever in your animation just to make it look good. But there are some really useful applications for this sort of line. One of them is using it with the repeater. So let's delete that. And I'm going to turn on my title action safe. And make another part from the center. Click shift to up there. We're going to do the exact same thing. Add trim paths. Do the exact same thing. Zero. Move it a little bit forward. Make that a little... 100, a little more forward, and then 100. I want to grab it, right click, key from assistant, easy ease. And for this one, I'm going to make sure you select your select tool when you're grabbing the handles. I'm going to move it to the left. So let's watch that. And now I'm going to, I'm going to click add repeater. So what, what a repeater does, if you haven't watched my accents tutorial, it basically repeats the, um, the layer. And it's really adjustable. So what I can do is make the copy, so let's make that 6. Let's make the position 0, so all of them line up in the exact same position. And for the rotation, as you can see, we can play around with that. But to make it all even, do 360 divided by the amount of copies, in this case 6. And just like that, we have a really cool line burst. And that took me like, I don't know how long, but it took me really quick. And you can adjust, you know, the keyframes to give it the effect that you like. And in this case, I really like this. So anyways, um, thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it, and comment below what tutorial do you want me to teach next, what skill that you want to learn in After Effects, or anything After Effects related. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace.